Today we're at Jody House and we'll be talking with Executive Director Kenneth Friedland and Director of Program Cheryl Herman. Let's start our spotlight. Well, thank you, Kenneth, for joining us today. And I wanted to start out by asking you, what is the mission of Jody House? Well, Jody House provides services, information, referrals, and a safe, nurturing environment for survivors of acquired brain injury, their families, caregivers, and anyone else who um, has been affected by an acquired brain injury. Okay, and who can come to Jody House, and what types of brain injuries do they have? Well, we have uh, two programs. We have a, a day program, which is um, what takes place here at our, at our house on Chapala Street. And um, that is primarily for adults who have had some kind of an acquired brain injury, which would include traumatic brain injuries from car accidents or bicycle accidents or falls or some kind of a trauma to the physical trauma to the brain. Um, but also people who've had strokes, aneurysms, had brain injuries from um, oxygen deprivation or from surgeries. Hmm. And so for that program, um, the um, brain injury survivors come here, they would go through an intake process and make sure that it's a good fit for them. And um, then they would become members. Okay. And we don't have clients or patients, um, we have members. And once you become a member, um, you're a member for as long as you need to or want to be one. The other group that we help would be families, friends, caregivers, um, and um, other organizations in Santa Barbara who want information or support for brain injuries, and that's our community outreach program. Excellent. What Can you describe for our viewers your clubhouse program, and how does it, uh, what do the caregivers and the members uh, do in the clubhouse program? The clubhouse program is a model that's used um, across the country and actually in countries throughout the world, and it's one where you have a place which is, um, it's, it's a safe, accepting, nurturing, non-threatening environment for survivors of brain injuries. And they come here and we have a variety of structured and unstructured time. So for the unstructured time, um, the people, the members would come into the house and um, they would be able to socialize. And that's one of the most important things that we offer here is a place where um, people can come and overcome the isolation that typically um, plagues anyone who's had a traumatic brain injury or any type of acquired brain injury because um, once they're discharged from the hospital or the ER or um, inpatient rehab, um, they have, they're facing the rest of their lives dealing with the impacts of the brain injury yeah. and isolation and um, depression and problems with the relationships and lost careers. Um, typically ensue. And so when they come here, um, nobody looks at them funny, nobody asks them questions, we just accept them as they are. And so they have an instant community. And um, we also provide a lot of activities that are designed specifically for their needs here, such as adaptive yoga, non-impact aerobics. Um, we have one of the most amazing um, percussion therapy classes in Santa Barbara That's here. And we actually have people who um, have asked to come here who aren't members just to participate in that class. Um, we have various support groups, peer support groups, family support groups. We're starting a teen support group next month. Um, uh, we have various classes. We don't offer therapy. We don't offer psychotherapy or medical treatments. But everything we do is therapeutic. So we're not a clinical setting. Well, what types of uh, community support does Jody House depend on? We don't receive um, insurance money. We don't receive federal or state or um, local um, subsidies. Hmm. We depend completely on individual donations and grants, and particularly in this new location, which is just amazing. Um, uh, it's a larger location from our old one over on Veronica Springs Road. It's about three times as large. It's far more complex. And our um, goal is to offer a, more, um, a, a greater range of services and activities and to enlarge the number of people that we can serve dramatically. And that's happened in the month since we've been in this location. Um, our attendance has doubled um, basically wow. on average every day. So we rely very heavily on volunteers. So anyone interested in doing any sort of volunteer work here, we would love to speak to them and they should give us a call. We give them information. And our website is jodyhouse.org. Well, thank you so much, Kenneth, for talking with us. And we'll be talking uh, with Cheryl up yes. next. All right. Thank All you. Right. Nice Thanks. talking to you. Thank you, Cheryl, for joining us. Um, can you describe for our viewers um, how Jody House assists a brain injured person on their path to recovery? 
Well, um, Jody House helps with both the social aspects of um, brain injury recovery and um, the skill building activities and recovering from a brain injury. It's um, primarily used during the community reentry phase of recovery. So first, um, we'll hear from physicians or family members, even while the person with brain injury is still in the hospital. Wow. And um, they'll call us to get information and support um, because they're wondering what's ahead for them. If they have not seen a doctor or, a, um, or, a, or they need some special yeah. support in the community, we'll refer out to other community services. So there's a lot of interaction that goes on in between we have our program here in Santa Barbara at the Jody House facility mm -hmm. on Chapala, but we also have a, a group that meets in Solvang as oh. well. And so we have a membership that extends from Santa, San Luis Obispo County all the way down to Ventura, okay. but primarily Santa Barbara County. Okay. Say, for instance, I or one of the viewers uh, has a friend or family member who has suffered a brain injury, and we know that Jody House would be a perfect fit for that person, but that person isn't quite ready mm. to join Jody House. How would you help out with that process? Well, the um, family member or caregiver can contact us and we can support the family member or caregiver. They can come to Jody House and they can also attend the classes that we have, such as uh, Reiki meditation and yoga and support classes. We also have a family support group that meets every month, so um, they can get support. Um, uh, we also uh, give referrals um, over the phone, too, as part of the community outreach program. So um, if there are other programs in their area or um, outside of Jody House that might be more comfortable for them, we can give them referrals to those programs, too. Thank you, Cheryl, for sharing with our viewers all the work that Jody House does. It truly is a benefit to our community. Can you share with our viewers the contact information for Jody House? Sure. Um, Jody House can be reached on the internet at um, www.jodyhouse.org and the phone number is 563-2882. Thank you again, Cheryl, and thank you to Jody House for all the great work. You're watching Nonprofit Spotlight. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future Nonprofit Spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.